American professional basketball player Moses Moody is a talented young player. He was taken by the Golden State Warriors in the first round, 14th overall of the 2021 NBA Draft. Since Bobby Portis's 2013 class, he also became the player with the highest ranking to commit to Arkansas. He was voted SEC Freshman of the Year, First Team All-SEC, AP Honorable Mention All-American, and SEC All-Freshman Team in 2021. So here are some things that you might not have known about Moses Moody's lifestyle and net worth. Parents Kareem and Rona Moses was born to parents Kareem Moody and Rona Moody in Little Rock, Arkansas. What is interesting to know is that the College Basketball Parents Association is led by his parents who serve as its presidents. Moses Moody's Contract Moses Moody inked a four-year deal with the Golden State Warriors according to the specialized website SpotTrack. A guaranteed $17 million is included in this deal, along with an average income of $4.2 million every year. Moody will have a basic salary of $3.7 million with a cap hit of $3.7 million and a dead cap value of $3.7 million for the 2022-2023 season. Net Worth The true net worth of Moses is not known with any degree of accuracy. The 19-year-old was anticipated to have a net worth of $1 to $5 million in 2021, though. Additionally, his net worth is to soar as an NBA player. According to Kentucky.com, Moody will make $2.9 million a year. His four-year rookie NBA deal contains the aforementioned sum. This means that Moses Moody is eligible for a $425,000 yearly salary, claiming ZipRecruiter. He was selected with the 14th overall pick, and Bleacher Report estimates that he will receive almost $3 million in pay. However, his real payment hasn't yet been made public. Moses has acquired a sizable fortune from his basketball career as a result of his participation in different competitions and prize money. Insiders claim that the specifics of his net worth have been kept private and hidden from the public. After he signs with an NBA team, the salary will be revealed. Through sponsorship and involvement in various activities, he may also make additional money. NBA Draft Moses started playing basketball while still in high school. During his green bean season, he participated in sports for Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School. For his sophomore year, he changed to North Little Rock High School. There, he averaged 18.6 points, 7.2 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 2.1 steals, and 1.4 blocks per game. For his lower year, he changed to Montverde Academy in Florida. He was averaging 17.7 focuses, 3.9 limits, 1.5 assists, and 1.6 steals a game at the time. He averaged 11.6 points, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.8 assists per game in his final season. He decided to join the Arkansas Razorbacks for high school basketball on November 9, 2019. On March 13, 2021, as a green bean, he earned 16.8 focuses and 5.8 bounce backs during his academic career. With a score of 78-71, he was defeated by LSU in the semifinals of the SEC tournament. On April 9, 2021, he waived his remaining school qualifying and declared for the 2021 NBA Draft. His Relationship and Girlfriend Moses is currently single. He hasn't yet given the media any details about his current or prior girlfriends. He appears to be focusing on his career right now and avoiding interruptions. He also values the time he gets to spend with his loved ones and friends. Embracing his role in the NBA Moody has experience playing with players of note like Cade Cunningham, Scotty Barnes, and Precious Achiua, and already knows how to fit in and get along with them. This talent will serve Moody well as he joins a loaded backcourt that includes Jordan Poole, Stephen Curry, and Klay Thompson. The rookie will need to figure out a method to have an impact without constantly having the ball in his hands, but Moody does not appear to have any trouble with this. Connor Latorno describes how Moody's time in high school helped him build leadership abilities that would transfer to the NBA level in a piece for the San Francisco Chronicle. Even with more accomplished players on the roster, his dedication to doing whatever would benefit the club makes him a noteworthy prospect. Moody enjoys being known as a glue guy. Golden State is attempting to assemble a completely new championship caliber squad, and Moody has no problem being just another piece of the puzzle. He is the kind of player who unites everyone, and as he put it, makes great players even better. For such a young kid, this is an amazing mentality to have, particularly in light of the situation in which he will launch his career. Moody only needs to play his part as the Warriors don't need him to be a Superman.
This means that Moody's ability to spread the floor effectively, look for open jump shots, and be a force on defense is crucial. His 7-foot wingspan will give him the adaptability to defend in a variety of ways, and he always has been a fluid long-range shooter. It makes obvious that Moody would try his hardest to learn everything he can from Curry and Thompson. Moody can one day try to imitate Thompson's two-way presence with his high-volume three-point shooting and physique. However, Moody will immediately fit in with the Warriors due to his propensity to play the unsung hero. Through three championship runs, the strength and numbers approach has been their mainstay, and it seems like they recently added Moody as a new tool. His Charitable Acts A young fan was hugging Moody as he received a black backpack at the Back to School in the Bay School Supplies giveaway at Chase Center. The young fan's mouth was wide open. He opened the rucksack after Moody and the fan exchanged a few brief words and his excitement was immediate. The kid whose head was still in the backpack screamed, oh my god, when the youngster disclosed that there was a Warriors jersey inside, he continued to jump for glee. Kylan Mills of Cron4 News tweeted about the entire interaction along with Whitney Bronson's video. To assist local children and teachers in preparation for the new academic year, the Back to School in the Bay initiative was established. The program, which will be introduced in 2021, will assist children from the Bay Area's most underserved communities in obtaining the tools they require to excel academically. Golden State was represented by Warriors consultant Zaza Pachulia the previous year. The year it was Moody, he had just claimed his first NBA title. Going viral for a quote about life in the NBA. Moses Moody, a rookie for the Golden State Warriors, amusedly gained some popularity on social media, and it wasn't because of anything that occurred on the court. During the 14th overall pick, Moody talked to the media before taking the court for the NBA G League Santa Cruz Warriors. A question about his transition to the NBA and whether it went as planned at this point in the season was posed to him. Honestly, I would say it is not as different as I anticipated it to be. Whenever you get something that you want, when you finally get it, you want something else. Like, all I ever wanted was to make it to the NBA. Now that I'm here, I want to be an all-star. If you give a pig a pancake, then he wants some syrup. The moody example, while amusing in the context of his comment, is taken from a collection of children's novels by Laura Numeroff. The overarching message is that, as Moody once stated, if you give someone something, they will continue to crave more. Moody's response has been widely shared on social media, and since then it has been shared on numerous Instagram accounts, and Warriors colleague Andre Iguodala even tweeted about it to his 1.2 million followers. Moses Moody is truly an excellent basketball player, and those who support him are thrilled to see him play for an NBA team. He'll soon be playing for an NBA squad, and he earned four stars for recruitment from rivals, 24-7 Sports, and ESPN, respectively. In addition to enjoying his professional life, the basketball star also enjoys spending time with his family and friends. So we wish him luck in the forthcoming games as well as the NBA draft. So what are your thoughts on this rising NBA star? Let us know what you think in the comments. I'll see you on the channel next time. Until then, it's goodbye.